Hey friends, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Meg, and in today's video we're gonna be chatting about my top 10 favorite drugstore releases of 2023. There's been a lot of drugstore makeup that's come out this year. There's a lot of great things, but I'm going to single out my top 10 favorites. So we have a lot to talk about. I'm gonna share with you, put it on my face, and give you all the tea that you need with these products with my stamp of approval. So let's get started. If you like affordable, attainable beauty, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like button, okay? So this first product, you can use in a bunch of different ways. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer. It's a really great dupe to the drunk elephant drops that everybody's going crazy over. Physician's Formula released this liquid bronzer this year. I like to use this in two different ways. Let's say I've self-tanned my entire body and my face doesn't kind of match my body. I like to use this first to kind of get everything to match together. Or if I'm going like a, for a no makeup day and I just wanna you know, warm the face up, I'll use a little bit of this. When I'm using this on camera, I feel like I used way too much, but it ends up fine when you're putting your foundation on top of it. But it's a good way to like warm stuff up. You can mix it with your foundation or you can honestly take just a little bit, put it on the back of your hand and then take your like makeup sponge and just sort of dab it around the face. It's really easy to work with, really easy to blend out. And if you overdo it, it just honestly blends, blends out really easily. You can mix it with moisture moisturizer. Don't overthink it. Just kind of apply it and blend it out. Okay. And this is a newer launch, this launch within the last, what, like month or two. And it immediately blew me away. And it is the Maybelline super stay 24 hour skin tint. I have a whole um, Instagram reel talking about this. I will link below. It's definitely not like a tint. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a, Oh, this is a, a hint of coverage girl. This got coverage. It is coverage. You get like medium coverage with it. It's really, really nice. When you look at, at the bottle, it seems pearlescent like it's but it doesn't look shimmery on the face but it's healthy it's got a nice glow and the best part is that it wears like the first time I tested this was a terrible day where I was like stranded on the side of the road because my tire blew out and I was like crying in my car I was like this these conditions are conditions to test this in and let me tell you it's amazing. The one thing that I absolutely loathe about it is this dropper applicator. It's a, an entirely too messy. Why are we doing this? We don't like this. We want pumps. We want a squeezy tube. I did buy some pump toppers off of Amazon. They should actually be here today. So I'll insert a clip of what that looks like when I've got it on my skin tint. Just trust me on this that you need to try it. It's so good. It wears really well, but don't go into this thinking you're going to get this like super light coverage. Yeah, you could sheer it out, but mm, it's beautiful. This product I'm literally almost out of because I've used it nonstop. I'm going to have to buy another one and it's the e.l.f. color corrector in the shade peach. So they released, I think four or five different color correctors this year. They're all $4. They're super inexpensive and they have this really nice flat doe foot applicator. And I think the peach is great underneath my concealer to cancel out dark circles. Depending on your skin tone, this may or may not work for you, but if you're like fair, light, medium skin tones, this will probably work pretty good for you. If you're deep, you want to try the orange one. Anyway, this is great. It wears beautifully under concealer, helps prep the under eye area for concealer. Just really like is a nice, beautiful step under there. If, if I just do concealer without a corrector underneath, my dark circles poke through and tend to look a little gray. So this is just perfect. Like this is a must for me. And like I said, I am almost out of it. Like I need to go repurchase another one. It's beautiful. High, high, highly recommended. It. It's lovely. Number four is a concealer product product that I think is awesome and I'm not sure that it's getting the hype that it deserves and it is the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Concealer and this stuff is beautiful. It reminds me quite a lot of the Ilia Serum Concealer, very similar in consistency where it's very thin, liquidy. It does pack a punch, you know, it does have some coverage, but it's not like so, so heavy of coverage. It feels super lightweight. It just blends out really easily. It's hydrating under the eye. So if you like a serum type thin consistency with some pigment, good medium buildable coverage. You're really going to like this. The applicator on it is really unique. It's almost like a spoon, like slanted scoop in there. It doesn't bother me. I actually really like this packaging where it's like a, you know, kind of soft packaging like this. I feel like you can squeeze out all last drop of it with this like flexible packaging, which I think is great because we want to be able to get to all of our product. 
Number five is a contour product that I think are tied, honestly, and I'll tell you the pros and cons of each of them, but you can choose one of these two. And it is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand and the Flower Low Light Liquid Contour liquid stuff. As we can tell, these like beauty wands are all the rage because we're trying to be like Charlotte Tilbury, so drugstores picked up on this. They're both great and they have their pros and cons, but I do think this like they're about even for me. Let's go with the cons first. The con with the e.l.f. one is the applicator is absolutely a hot mess. Like I think the only way it locks closed is if you have it screwed, like the lid screwed on, but when you take the lid off, it's just a mess. The applicator on this one, not so great. The pro to the, the Flower Beauty one is it does have that mechanism like on the Charlotte Tilbury products where you can turn it on and off and squeeze the product out. So that's where this one gets a plus. The con with this one is that it dries very quickly so you have to work in sections. So that could be a pro for you because it could wear a lot longer on the skin. Your, your wear time on this could be better, but it's just something to note like you have to like apply some, blend it out, apply some blend it out. You can't just like do your whole face and then go in with your blending brush. You have to work in sections with this because it does dry very quickly. Whereas this is more creamier, a little bit easier to work with. These tones are very similar to me. Like they look similar on the skin. As you can see, maybe in the footage here, they're similar in tone. They're, they're tied for me at number five. It was hard to just pick one out of the two, but so hopefully that's helpful. Number six is a powder that is blown me away, and I think I mentioned this in one of my last drugstore videos, is this Milani powder. And I haven't really seen it much in stores very much anymore. I'm seeing it only online and I'm very concerned because it's giving like discontinued vibes to me. Like, I'm, is this getting discontinued? Because I don't know how I'm gonna be able to handle this. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. It's a talc-free powder and the tone of it is kind of like this peachy one. So if you're super, super fair, it may be too dark, but on me, it's, very totally translucent and it's just this most blurred out completely seamless powder that doesn't have a powdery finish it just like leaves this perfect set on the face that gives enough blur like you could spot powder with it like under the eyes and sort of the places that you want to blur out but it's not too powdery it doesn't look chalky it doesn't look powdery it doesn't look too matte it looks great it's beautiful i cannot say enough good things about it it's so incredibly finely milled it just feels so silky smooth please if this there's one thing on this list that you try let it be this powder okay number seven are these blushes from essence they're the pure nude baked blushes and this is in the shade shimmery rose and for me this shade is like a wonderful beautiful blush topper i like to apply like a cream or liquid blush and then top it with this and i don't need a highlighter it's if you're very fair skinned this shade would be lovely for you like it's going to be the right tone but on its own i don't feel like it packs enough punch for pigment like color wise but like i'm not even wearing a highlighter today and i don't need to because this is the most amazing blush topper on top of like a liquid or cream blush they do have deeper shades that i think are also wonderful they're going to give that pack of punch but if you're very fair skin you're really going to like shimmery rose these are so beautiful they're so silky smooth so soft they're giving our glass ambient lighting blush vibes and that is one of my favorite blushes of all time so for me to make that comparison for a blush that's like I don't know under five dollars that's a bold statement that's a bold statement I don't know what else there is to say now there were a couple of mascaras that grabbed my attention this year but the one that stood out for me is this one by Maybelline. It's the Falsies Surreal in this purple packaging. It's beat up, y'all. This has been like, it looks like it's been well loved. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It is a beautiful, just like traditional, like bristly brush, not synthetic. And it's got this wonderful formula that I feel like is lengthening, it's volumizing. And best of all, this has a bit of a tubing formula to it. So if you're not familiar with tubing mascaras, they are like these polymers that wrap around the lashes and create tubes and they remove really well with just like warm water. They sort of just slide off your eyelashes. Whereas like a wax formula leaves all, like it looks more 
raccoon eyes when you're removing it. Also, if you're aware, tubing mascaras wear so much better than regular traditional mascaras. Even though they're easy to remove, they wear really well. They're a little bit more sweat resistant, smudge resistant. So if you're prone to smudging and flaking on your mascaras, give this one a try. It's not advertised as a tubing formula, but I find that when I just get the warm water, it just slides off. Number nine is a product from e.l.f. e.l.f. is really knowing what they're doing this year. Like they know what they're doing. These e.l.f. O Face Satin Lipsticks are a home run. They're gorgeous. So a lot of people are comparing these to the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I don't own any myself, so I can't make that comparison for you, but it's got that beautiful like rubbery matte packaging, magnetic closure. Look at that for $9. I know it's nine. That's pretty expensive for e.l.f., but we're gonna forgive it because it's beautiful and like I it's still cheap okay this shade is absolutely beautiful it's the shade dirty talk which I feel like is a really great pillow talk alt dupe like look at that shade it's so pretty I feel like it's one of those universally flattering mauve shades it feels high-end if you put this in my hands and you said try this high-end lipstick on for me I'd be like I believe you 100% it's absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least is this gloss from CoverGirl. So I have really been into lip oils this year. The NYX lip oil released this year and it's great, but it's just not like, I don't love the applicator. I love the shades on that the NYX one comes in, but I just don't love the applicator. That's neither here nor there. We're, what I'm getting to is I've been in a lip oil list, lip gloss mood. And this from CoverGirl, the clean, fresh, yummy gloss, I feel like is the best like gloss loss release of 2023 over the NYX for sure. And it's so incredibly gl glossy and juicy. This is in the shade you're just jelly. I feel like all of them are similar. Like you're not going to get that big of a difference in color, but it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yummy. So juicy looking. Mm. Mm, so comfy on the lips. So if you're a gloss girl, you're really been into glosses. Give this one a try. It's so good. Thank me later. It's amazing. We flew through that, but we talked about my top 10 drugstore makeup releases of 2023 because there, like I said, there's been so many amazing releases. It was really hard to narrow this down, but I think I picked a good amount of products that I think you can almost create a full entire face of makeup with. So let me know if you've tried any of these. Have you tried these products? Tell me like what your top favorites are from this year are. I would love to know if I haven't tried it yet for some reason, like I just haven't tried it. I would love to try it. So please let us girl know and thank you so much for watching also before you leave make sure to follow along on social media i have all of my handles listed below i'd love to be your friend there so thanks again and i will see you all in my next video bye